Hi everyone, Titch from the Dumpy Dalek here. Um, I went some. I when I bought myself a two two six nine C Altair color camera a, a couple of months well, about a month or so ago, and I love it. It's it's a lovely camera. It's very sensitive. It's, you know, it's a great camera, but it does have issues running in Nina. I have been told it's the SD SDK drivers that are the issue. Altair are aware of it and they are, well, addressing it. So when the new drivers appear and we can download them and all things be hunky dory, remains to be seen. But all in all, I do like the camera. However, I seem to have found a workaround in need of being able to get it to work. So this is what I do. I'm currently connected to my PC remotely. Um, from inside home and I don't think I need the power box on but no, I'll, I'll put it on anyway I'll open up Nina maybe in a minute or two well hopefully not a minute or two right there's the camera connect and this works this this all has the same issue whether it's the um Whether it's the uh, what do you call it? it's on the ASCOM drivers or the native drivers, so I have exactly the same issue. So this is what this is what I get. If I go on the imaging tab, say you want to focus, the camera generally loops. So this is what happens. It will start exposing, and it just hangs. It'll just stay there until an error comes up. I'll wait until the error comes up, and then I'll I'll cut it out in the edit. A few moments later. And that's the error I get. So, what I do is go to the exposure <clears throat> and I'll put in, say, 30 seconds and I'll run one off. Might work with less seconds, I'll just do 30 seconds. So I'll wait that for that to go up. Hopefully it should put an image on the screen. Well, it won't be an image because it will have to count the colours on the scope, but the bear an image. There we go. That's, that's what we get. So now that will work. So if I go back to, you want to focus it, I don't know, stick it on a three second loop, stick it on, it'll work now. So it kind of forces it to work. So it's a good little workaround. Not much of a faff, but you know, it's just something if anybody's got these cameras and I want to use it in Nina, this is how I do it. And it seems to work, so now I'll stop it. And let's just say, I oh know, let's put that on. Put the color on. And do a sequence. Add new target. And I'll just call it a test. Uh, and then I'll say, I oh know. Let's say we'll do three frames at uh, 60 seconds light, do that off, and then we'll start the sequence. Telescope not connected, yeah, that's fine, I don't want to connect it. And then you go on the imaging tab. It's not finished calling, but the sequence is starting. A little later. So hopefully this video will help anybody who's having issues with their camera. I don't know if it's the same with any other cameras. As far as I'm aware, ZWO cameras are fine and QHY cameras are fine. I mean, I even managed to get my old QHY8 one-shot colour camera working, which is, oh, I don't know, 2008, 2009. It's a very old camera. And I've got that working a treat. Much later. 
a lot of fun with the ASCOM drivers as well is the screen like the, the, you can see what, what you're imaging what, what under the pack map there's all these funky colours you know it looked like something from the 60s <laughs> there you go and that's on the next sequence next, next shot and I'll just keep doing that and keep doing that and keep doing that so that's uh, that's how it is so I should warm it up Warm the sensor up and uh, call it a day. It's just a video, just a short video for anyone who's having issues. Not sure if it's the same with any other Altair camera, but this is what I was getting revived. So hopefully it'll help anybody with the same same thing. So thanks for watching, and we'll uh, we'll see you later. Clear skies.